She stole my body. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Flight of the Moth. Now, this is not, uh, let me, t let me turn down the music. Y'all know music just be booming in y'all ears. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but you guys know that personally, I don't try to play like big games on the weekends, but this is a mini game. This is a tiny itty bitty game. And, uh, I don't know what it's about. However, I heard that there's some witchcraft in here and somebody's locked in a prison. So, you know, if that bothers you, just go ahead and turn the video off. I understand it completely. We all are sensitive to certain things. I have loud noise sensitivity and that's why I don't play scary games as often as I should. But, uh, you know, it's, it, it, we all have our little, you know, triggers and stuff. So there is witchcraft in here, prison stuff, you know, or whatever. And I think it said it was gore in here, but I also was reading like multiple games. So I'm not for sure. So, you know, keep all that stuff in mind. And it's voice actor, so you know, you don't have to hear me all messing up all over the place. <laughs> <clears throat> My body shivers quietly. Not all of it is a uh, voice act, by the way. So you will be hearing me read through <laughs> throughout it. And there's two endings, by the way. I blink, pain surging through my eyes. Everything is blurry. I can barely distinguish light and darkness. Is anybody else there? Oh, hello, Cecilia. Cecilia? Is that what her name was? I didn't really... Oh, that's creepy. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna have nightmares about this. Oh, I don't know if this is a scary game either, so... Uh, if it is, I'll put at the top, top of the description... You know, trigger warning, this is a scary game. <laughs> I hear a woman's hum from the prison cell next to me. Hello? The woman laughs. Pardon my earlier silence. A pretty moth entranced me. A pretty moth entranced you, huh? She seems a bit odd. What crime were you convicted of? Oh, they locked me up for witchcraft. Yeah, so... Mm -hmm. you know there, there there you go if that's your sign and you know stuff witchcraft bothers you go ahead and turn this off okay I am here for the same reason but I swear I would never practice witchcraft I mean so this is an old timey game so I get it or whatever but I just think about that sometimes like back in the day you could sneeze differently than everybody and it'd be she's a witch murder her <laughs> type of thing and to me that is hilarious like the stuff that the humans have gotten away with that men have gotten away with we need to stop letting bad men because there are a lot of good guys out there but we need to stop letting the bad guys get away with the bad stuff <laughs> silence i was intending to escape with the help of my friend's apprentice okay You sound so calm for someone whose legs are snapped in two. I would rather have you escape in my stead if that is possible. That gives me bad vibes. Why would you want me to escape and not yourself? Like, I would still try to find a way out, or I would at least tell the person that's going to help me escape, like, hey, listen, my legs are broken, so it's going to be a little harder, or whatever. You could even play as a dead body, and he could just, like, she died in, in there, so we're going to throw her away. Oh, well, you sound sweet and suspicious. Thank you. Um, call me Tinia. Tinia. Okay, Tinia. Uh, I'm glad you told me your name because I would have read it as Tinia. Like, Tina. T like, Tinia. I'm sorry, I'm rambling on because my anxiety is very high. <laughs> but, I mean, it's a good day. I'm alive, everything's okay, I'm not sick, and I am hope I'm bringing somebody, at least one or two people, some joy. Now, you should be the one to come in the next watch rotation. Okay. To save as much time as possible, as he doesn't know what I look like, we promised on a few signals. So you have someone saving you from prison who doesn't know what you look like, and you're in here for witchcraft. See, one 
plus one is not equaling two right now to me personally it just sounds so suspicious like why do you sound so suspicious you need to light three candles and put them on the ground i will give candles and matches to you okay a plank drops to the ground and something is shuffled through a crack in the wall i scoot over to the source of the noise and pick them up Oh, that's not good. Now she's partially blind. This lady has her legs broken and we have to trust this woman. Don't worry. I believe in you. <sighs> very persistent. You're very persistent and that bothers me. I don't like it. <laughs> like y'all let me know in the comment section that if I'm being crazy that this lady is giving off some really freaky vibes. Don't watch the whole video and then be like, "Yeah, she was creepy." I think a b and c happens and then a b and c happens you that means you already do but like just from here let me know in the comment sections below is she not giving off creepy vibes to me she just feels ugh, like off even if she said that i'm worried that i might set myself on fire accidentally so my only like one candle or light the candles so my first mind and let me tell you I follow my gut my gut is saying light only one candle but I'm gonna go with the top one like all the candles I'm just gonna kind of follow what she says to do and see what happened but personally this is all giving me that that weird vibe like you're a bad person and I don't I don't like that I don't like that so let's go ahead and light all the candles um okay. Wait a second. Sorry, my phone's ringing, you guys. My hand trembles. I breathe in deeply and light the candle. I hold the rest of the candles over the wick and put them on the ground. The warmth of the light eased my heart. The next step might frighten you. However, there is no need to fear. Mm. I will give you a small dagger through the crack. You need to cut a small symbol on your arm. And what is this symbol that I need to cut on my arm? Because this all sounds like you're putting voodoo on me. And voodoo back then would probably be witchcraft. So, I'm good. Is that necessary? Then we have the candles. Yes. It is so that the apprentice differentiates the right person if I had been thrown into a prison cell with others. Okay. Still, it doesn't hurt to be thorough so a misunderstanding won't happen. Okay. Um... I guess we're doing it. There's again shuffling near the crack. I put the dagger on the ground. You should carve a simple symbol of a mark. So what is that on my neck? If not a moth, is that a ribbon or a butterfly? I, I can't really tell. But when it got close, it kind of looked like it was like a moth. <laughs> like. That's what my mind said because it looks like like the, a wing of something and my mind went straight to a moth because the game is called uh, Flight of the Moth. So, but eh, I don't know. It, it, everything just seems off to me in here. I crawl closer to the crack and pick it up. Somehow, I immediately imagine what kind of symbol Athena meant. I think it looks a bit more like a butterfly. Hmm. Do as Thenia says. Okay. I trust you. I don't. I'm glad, I'm glad somebody trusts her because I don't. I grip my teeth as I carve on my arm the symbol. I'm done now. We have done everything then. <laughs> I'm sorry that I can't save you. Hmm. I personally believe you are saving her, just not in a good way, honey. <laughs> I believe that you're definitely for sure saving her. You're just not going to like how she gets out. Because it just feels off to me. I just feel like I just got played. Like, you ever, like, had somebody... Like, I went to the fair one time, and I lost the game, like, six times. And I felt like I was being played the whole time. 
turns out that those those little uh mini games at fairs and carnivals and stuff they really be playing us they really be tricking like making stuff work in their favor so we don't win the games and i, I knew i always felt off every time i played them because i was like i should have won at least one teddy bear like i played this game and i can't remember what it, what it's called but you know the game where you have to throw the rings on the bottles and you have to get like i think it's like five to ten rings on the bottle and once you get them on the bottle you can uh you can get like a teddy bear or you know whatever they got up there that i missed all the rings and i'm blind <laughs> i know i was and i was struggling with my eyesight around that time and i wasn't wearing glasses so i understand that uh you know maybe that played a part of it as well but come on i didn't hit one ring are you serious <laughs> nah something was up the whole time and like i was watching this like documentary where this guy goes and he's like you know paying off these people i don't know if it was like actual documentary but it was like one of those little youtube videos and this guy was going around paying off like the carnival workers to get the insight and stuff and he mentioned that game and i know it was fate i know it was fate like he, he mentioned that game and he was like yeah what they do is they make it the rings like oval kind of like so you can't you don't tell like it to you it looks like a circle but if you pay closer attention the rings are like bent a little bit so they don't fully go on to the bottle and some rings are actually smaller because they weren't all the same size rings like some rings are actually smaller too so you'll throw it and you'll it looks like it's gonna go perfectly on there but it's just an illusion because it's never going to go on any of the bottles there. And it's just too small. I know that was a bit, you know, a little rant, but I do apologize. But I mean, I'm not going to apologize for my rants. If y'all don't want to hear it, skip it <laughs> or <laughs> turn off the video. But I'd, I'd rather you just skip it and just get back to the story. But yeah, it just I that's how I feel right now. I feel like I got played just now, just like that. You just accepting your death so easily. Okay. Could you pray with me for my goddess? For your goddess, huh? What's your goddess name? I wish for her strength. I believe that the prayer would be heard if you would help me. Hmm. So, um, I got that pick. That, and my ear started ringing just now. Y'all know what that... Look up ear ringing out of nowhere. And don't look it up on Google. Like, look it up on something like TikTok or something. Because there's always, like, some weird person, spiritual person that... Not weird, but there's always some spiritual person breaking down stuff like that. But my grandma used to tell me, when your ear rings, it means you need to pay attention. Or you need to get out of that situation that you're in. Because you might be in danger. Or something's wrong. Like, you need to pay attention. It's like your inner siren going off. And my ear just started ringing. Or just now this she's playing me. Okay, hold my hand, y'all. I don't know if this is a scary game, so I do apologize if you get scared. But again, I will put in the top of the description if it is a scary game. Mm -mm, I ain't saying that. I repeat the sentence in my head a few times and then open my mouth to do so. My body warm with each sentence I say. However, I'm unable to stop speaking. I repeat the mantra multiple times until it changes. It changed. It really did. My insides burn. I try to scream, but no noise comes out of me. I have to say continues out of me. Comes out of me. The more intense the burning becomes, the more my consciousness leaves me in an agony until the... I knew it! I knew it! She took over... <laughs> She stole my body. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, man. I guess this is one of the endings. I guess there always had any time their game has multiple endings. There's got to be like at least one bad ending and then like multiple good endings. But there's got to be at least one bad ending. And I think I just got it. What a pitiful, sad girl. You what? 
You witch. <laughs> you witch. I wish your soul finds peace in the fire, Cecilia. Well, let's go back in. We're here back at the light and the candles. My heart told me to light only one candle. <laughs> so I'm going to light only one candle. One candle should be enough. I don't want to risk setting myself on fire accidentally. Calmly, I lit one candle. I'm done now. Hmm. Please, light the other candles too. We must be thorough with you so that we can get safely out of here. No, 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 no. You see, we did it already. We did it your way. And you played me like a fiddle. So, <laughs> so um, like a game controller, like... What else do you play? Like a basketball, like a football. We can go on and on how you played me just now, like a carnival game. <laughs> but you're not gonna play me this time. How did you know that? I can see the light and it was quite weak. It also took quite a little time for you to set all the candles. It makes sense, but I can't help but feel uneasy. Regardless of that, I light up the other two candles with the help of my lit candle and put them in a row next to each other. Thank you. The next step might frighten you. However, there is no need to fear. Mm. Okay, yeah, whatever. I will give you a small dagger with a crack. You need to cut a small symbol on your arm. Is that necessary? Then we have the candles. It is so that the apprentice differentiates the right person by having been thrown into a prison cell with others. Come on now. Why didn't y'all just come up with cold words? See, everything just sounds like off to me. And I would have been like, you guys didn't come up with cold words. You came up with like, what's he going to do? You hold out your arm to see who's who. Nah. There again, shuffle ne near the crack. Excuse me. I've been saying near the neck. <laughs> I crawl closer to the crack and pick it up. Somehow, I can immediately imagine what kind of symbol Athenia meant. I think it looks a bit more like a butterfly. It can be dangerous if the wound would cause an infection. The apprentice is a skilled herbalist. All of it just sounded off from the beginning. I knew it. I just knew it. it everything sounded off from the beginning. Oppose, no, oppose this plan. No, I'm not worried. You are just being insistent on things that don't make sense. Can't we just explain the situation to the apprentice? I wish things were as straightforward as that, but you must trust me. Nah. Don't take me as a fool. Right. A symbol on my skin with a dagger? This all sounds like witchcraft. Tell her again. Tell her again, stand up for yourself, Cecilia, because there is just no way that this all sounds right. You know what? Take that dagger and be like, okay, but can you hold my hand? And then when she stick her hand in it, go, yeah, 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 just at her fingers. Like, don't play me. Don't ever play me. Like, I know you lost your, your vision, but you got to sometimes stand up for yourself. There is a long silence. You must listen to me, Cecilia. Look at her still trying to take over my mind. No way! I know you are scared of what will happen to you. However, through this you shall be freed from the pain and fear. Why don't you put your hand through the crack so I can feel a lot safer doing what you asked me to do? Y'all know what I'm finna do. The dagger in my grasp shakes. Freed? I would rather die than be freed by you. Don't be afraid of your fate. You have been marked for a long time. What is she talking about? Is she talking about the mark on my my neck? I see that's a that's that is a moth. That is a moth on her neck. I carefully touch the familiar moth mark on my neck. My hands shake. I bring the dagger up. I will not be taken by you. I punch the dagger into my neck without giving it a second thought. I miss the pain I'm wanting consciousness. There there's a disappointed sigh. I plunge into darkness and won't return from it. What? Oh, you... Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. 
creator, that cliffhanger right there, uh, you could make a part two to this. You could make a part two to this and start it off like uh, one of the guards save her. And this is just like, this is me coming up with something. You could steal it. I don't care. I'm not steal it, but you could take it. I am not going to ever use it. But you could uh, make it like she wakes up and after she wakes up, like a guard saves her and the guard saves her and it's actually the herbalist that was trying to save her and stuff. And, you know, they have a little conversation back and forth about, you know, why she did it and all this other stuff. And he's like, she would have just took your body and stuff and did make him cute as well. When I tell you, you can make this into a series right now, like you can be a uh, flight of the moth too. I would support you a hundred percent. I promise you like as long as I got the means to do it, like, make it like where she's having a conversation with the herbalist that's supposed to save you and stuff and then um go ahead and uh add in a little sprinkle like i said a little sprinkle of romance and stuff and he'd be like i'll help you out but i must talk to thenia and then thenia might be his sister and he's like oh just, like put a little plot twist okay let me stop thank y'all so much i hope y'all enjoyed this uh I don't have anything else to say. I'm clapping it up. This really was a cliffhanger that I'm like hoping that he makes a part two to or she makes a part two or they make a part two to. I'm just going to say they because I don't know their pronouns. But I hope they make a part two to this because wow, this was really good. I am going to go post this on your page. I'm going to like, you better make a part two. And you can use any idea that I threw out there. You can twist it in your own way. I don't care. Like, oh, this would be so awesome. Um, I hope everyone out there have a fantastic day and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I love my family so much on YouTube. Peace and love.